Welcome to a new studio vlog, except I am changing things up a bit and I'm starting to call these creative life vlogs because I realise this isn't really a studio and even if it is, most of my vlogs are not actually in the studio. So creative life vlogs, that feels like it fits with what all of this is. Welcome. It's been a little... It's been a little while since I have done a vlog here on YouTube. I have been busy with my channel making content and kind of just finding my own way in terms of what I find interesting, what I want to do, and also, let's face it, trying to find what's popular. Um, but like seeing where that kind of, where the Venn diagram overlaps of things that I like doing and things that people want to watch. I've been vlogging over on my Patreon still, so if, you know, that's like a little plug there for my Patreon. You're currently very precariously balanced on a little tripod, on a stack of boxes, on a book. I always struggle a little bit because I feel like ugh, vlogging, I'm supposed to like have a subject and have it all figured out and like present to the camera and I just don't. I mean, this is just, this is my messy, chaotic, creative life and this is just what it is. And I need to stop filtering myself. I need to stop not vlogging because I feel like I haven't got anything to say and I just need to do it because that is the advice that I would give to you. If you said, hey Iris, I wanna do this thing, but I find it difficult or I find obstacles or I don't find the time or like, oh, you know, I would say just do it. So advice to myself, just do it. And if you're finding yourself in a similar situation, whether it's about vlogging or making art or something else, that's my advice to you. The main thing on my mind at the moment is this painting. If you're familiar with my art, then you know that I don't really plan things out. I don't really have ideas in advance of doing things. And that is a very exciting way of working because it means all my work is always intuitive, but it also means that I'm never really working towards something. Like I never really have an idea of something that I want to express. And <clears throat> the other day, when I was in therapy, like I sit on the bed when I have my therapy phone call. So I am staring at that painting for several hours a week, every week. And I haven't worked on that painting in, I don't know, let's be generous and say six months, but it's probably longer. Um, so I look at it for many hours a week for the last six months. And all of a sudden during my therapy session, I had an idea and it was linked to what we were talking about. It was linked to kind of like loneliness and aloneness and feeling that or not feeling that rather. And I had this idea of how I want to uh, continue this painting. Um, and have I done anything on it since having that insight? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> but, um, but the idea is exciting. And that's one of the reasons I'm vlogging right now. It's psyching myself up to feeling like I can actually do that. So here you are my accountability buddy right now. Yep, I'm gonna be accountable to you. I'm gonna work on that painting. I've said it now, I have to do it. So the idea is that it's just a face floating in black. Way too much background space, but deliberately. 
Um, cause I always struggle with backgrounds. I'm like, I don't have anything to paint in the background. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to embrace that. I'm going to paint nothing in the background because that's the feeling. It's the feeling of this face in nothingness. But at this point, and then maybe something, I want to put something red, like a red dot over there. But at this point in time, I don't like this face. I feel like it doesn't, the proportions are off. I don't mind it being ugly, like it can be ugly and raw and textured and stuff, but I want to probably rework it. And I don't know yet if I'm going to turn this face into something that feels more fitting or if I'm just going to paint black over it and just start again. I don't know. We'll see. So one of the hardest things about painting for me, especially painting on canvas, is remembering that I know how to do this. I know how to do this. This is what I do. I paint a lot. I've been painting probably not as much as I want, but I paint a lot and I've painted a lot over the last, you know, seven years or so, mostly in journals. But it's fair to say that I know how to paint in my style. And that is all I'm trying to do on here, on this canvas, and yet it's so easy to forget that I know how to do this. I start thinking, I don't know how to do this. How do I do this? Or I don't know, it's somehow what I know how to do gets disconnected from what it is that I think I'm doing. And it's like, it just becomes really complicated. And it's all a mental game. You know how they often say like, tennis is a mental game. And I mean, you need to be a good athlete. It's so funny. I've been doing so many sports method metaphors in my, like in my musings and my podcasts and all the, and my vlogs and stuff. I don't remember where else, but yeah, sports metaphors. Anyway, you gotta be an amazing athlete. You gotta know your skills. You gotta be trained. You gotta get them, have the muscle memory. Apart from that, it's a mental game. And if you can't do it mentally, then you can't do it at all. <sighs> Painting and remembering that I can do this when really mostly what I feel is that I can't do it. Or I don't know how to do it rather than that I can't. It's like, can I do this? Have I forgotten? Like the skills are there, but like, how do I apply them? What do I want this painting to be? I mean, right now, it's just an egg. It's basically, it's an egg on a black canvas. Yay, done, abstract art, it's art. And also, hashtag sorry not sorry, but if you're here hoping to see a vlog of someone who knows what they're doing and is going to show you like this romantic creative life where there's like a montage and there's inspiration and I'm like gonna tell you how to do this and like how to be like this too like I'm sorry but it's not that's not this vlog this vlog is just me struggling <laughs> and sharing it <laughs> because that is what my life is it's just I am so good at finding the struggle um yeah that's my superpower So in vlog, you're supposed to create the illusion of time passing, but it doesn't help that I'm actually wearing the same outfit that I wore yesterday. <laughs> Today has been a bit of an admin day, lots of time at the computer, although I did come up here for a bit earlier to do some planner journal filming, um, I mean to do some stuff in my planner journal, layouts and things for the past weeks and the coming week. Um, and I filmed it for my Patreon and now I'm up here because I need to take
pictures of stuff to put in my digital download for Patreon. Doing things nice and last minute. It is the 28th of February and I need to have it up tomorrow morning. Well, I mean, I don't need to, but that's kind of what I usually do. Anyway, I um, was having a little think, which is something I like to do. I like to think loads. It usually gets me in trouble. And I was thinking that I think I hide behind doing quite often. I get very, I feel, I, I feel most comfortable when I have a task and I have a, you know, a reasonably sizable to-do list, not so sizable that it's overwhelming, but sizable enough to, you know, feel like I have a purpose. And so I think I sometimes hide behind those kind of practical aspects of art life. Making videos for YouTube, doing things on Patreon, writing my newsletter, teaching on courses, all super legit stuff and stuff that I value and I'm proud of and I'm happy to put time into. But I still think that I use it partly to hide from doing real serious art or even real not super serious art but just doing art another thing that i was thinking of is that i think i feel i carry some shame i guess or embarrassment around not really knowing what i'm doing i think i feel like and i'm sure this comes from childhood but like i feel like I'm supposed to have it all figured out and especially when I'm sharing especially if I'm teaching making vlogs making content I'm supposed to have a passion and a direction and when I listen to podcasts and I listen to these other artists who I think are real artists as opposed to me I don't mind calling myself an artist but I don't feel very much like a real artist and I feel like I don't have a purpose I don't have a passion I know it looks like I do, but it doesn't feel like it. And then I think I feel ashamed about that. And I feel like, well, that doesn't make me very legit. Yeah, I feel like there's shame in this floating, not knowing, being a bit lost, basically. But then if I turn it around and if I said to myself, or if somebody else, if one of you said to me, well, Iris, I'm a bit lost. I don't really know what I'm doing, you know, I'm just making art, but I don't really know what it's for or what the purpose is or what I really want or what my passion is. I would be full of sympathy. I'd be like, wow, and you're still showing up. Or I would encourage you to show up and to just, you know, float. Float. Don't sit around and use the floating or the lostness for giving up or not trying anything but just try and do in spite of it. That's what my advice would be for someone else. So I guess that's what I, what my advice would be for myself. That's what I should do. And that's what I'm trying, that, that's what I'm coming to term with, coming to terms with, I guess, that whatever I'm doing is worthwhile and it's harder for not having a purpose. It's harder for not having a passion, but it's still valid philosophical musings with iris so i'm gonna take some pictures i'm like oh my god i haven't made any art what am i gonna put in my digital download but i think i'll i'll find something and then i'm gonna have some food and then i'm gonna go out because it's monday night and i've got choir so yay
your head was cut off. Uh, okay, there you go. Now you're kind of like Camilo. Excellent. Excellent. So this is kind of a funny story. Um, here in the UK and probably in other places as well, we have Pancake Day and um, Pancake Day is like it's the start of Lent I think and I looked wrong in the diary and I thought it was two weeks ago and so I planned to do pancakes two weeks ago, found out that I had the date wrong but did pancakes anyway so we had Dutch pancakes two weeks ago. Yesterday was actual pancake day, Shrove Tuesday, but uh, Jupiter wasn't at home because he was busy and so we said okay we'll do it on uh, we'll do it on Wednesday. So I'm making pancakes again this time we're having American pancakes you know for variety so that was my funny story. Very professional two pans keeping them warm over there. I've got bacon gonna make some spring sc scrambled eggs and then we're also gonna have bananas and blueberries and plenty of maple syrup and I'm just so excited uh, and yeah we're having this for dinner because I'm Dutch and for me pancakes are dinner I mean they can be breakfast as well but mostly they're dinner hello let's have a little ketchup sounds like ketchup it's Thursday night I've had a struggle this week. I have had a difficult week. I uh, didn't want to have a difficult week, but that's just what it is. And I think it's all just mental struggle. And I don't choose this stuff. Maybe I do, I don't know. Anyway, last week and the week before I had such productive weeks. And then this week I've just not been able to. But I'm vlogging now, which actually means I'm feeling slightly better. I know that I'm going to have a lion tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. Friday morning is my lion day. <laughs> I have got a video to edit, which I'm going to do. I've got a video that goes live uh, here on YouTube. Uh, it's my Arteza haul video. I am excited about sharing that. I think my objective is to just get through the rest of the week. Sometimes that's just what it has to be. It can't be like lofty goals, it's just getting through the day, the week, whatever. And you know, if that's what you need to hear because you need permission to feel like you can just focus on getting yourself through the day, then here, this is your permission. What else? Oh yes, I am excited at the moment because I have three things live at the moment. It's funny, I didn't realize that all these three things would overlap and be at the same time, but they are, and it's fun and exciting actually. Um, so I have a lesson live at the moment on Lifebook, my bonus lesson in which I am teaching students um, the power of repetition and sketching and doing just kind of fun, quirky sketches and doing loads of them. Uh, so I'm excited about that. The work that I have seen people do is amazing and the feedback has been great um, and I just love seeing everybody's like colorful sketches and seeing how people make the lesson their own. That's been really good. Then I also have a lesson up in Book of Days um, which is nice. I love Book of Days. It's just so close to me that style of teaching and um, I am also teaching in an online summit at the moment, which will probably be over by the time you see this video, but that's currently happening, so people are doing the lesson that I've got for that at the moment. So it's nice to see all this um, student work coming up. It's one of the super gratifying things about what I do, and I love seeing it, and I love interacting with it, and I love commenting and things like that, and I like save everything to a folder on my computer so I can like, so I can my precious it, as Tamara would say. <laughs> I haven't been doing art find it so difficult. It's like when I know that doing art will make me feel better, but then just like the getting to the art desk and doing it is something that my 
state of mind or mood won't allow me to do, that's the hardest thing, you know? Like knowing what would be good but not being able to do it. Although actually making making that cardboard knife yesterday, that, that was good. That put me in a better mood. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think this is it. I have talked enough for tonight. I'm going to take a shower and have my beauty sleep. It's pizza night and we have an oven with a light again. <laughs> we have an oven that works. Nice. Ooh, onion rings. I'm living the high life. Friday oh. night, pizza night. And what film are we watching? Uh, we're going back to the past. Back to the future. Back to the future. Oh, that the was that. Back to the future. That was how many years ago? Like oh, 2005. Yeah. Exactly. Is it something like that? No. Uh, 2015. Oh, 2015, okay, yeah. sure. We're going back to the future, back to the past, that was seven years ago. Great. <laughs> oh, let me get... Let, let me get... <laughs> oh, God. It's terrible. It's the weekend! I am. S whoops. You're precariously balanced on some art journals. <laughs> Let me adjust. You're precariously balanced on a box of markers now. Let's hope that works. I am really over this week, which has been a dumpster fire of negative emotions, and I am so ready for the weekend. And doing fun stuff that isn't listening to my inner thoughts of doom. So, <laughs> breakfast, crispy minis and tea. We are going for a walk in a minute, um, somewhere out in Buckinghamshire. I have got the map loaded on my Garmin. I like plot it on Garmin Basecamp and then I put it on my device and it makes my little geek heart very happy to do that stuff. Loaded loads of gear, Geocaches? No, geocaches <laughs> on there too. So hopefully there'll be some nearby where we're walking. And yeah, I'm excited about that. And then tonight I am going to eat hot pot with my friends. This will be my first time eating hot pot and I'm so excited, a bit intimidated, but um, I think some of my friends have done it before. So I will just be guided by them and let them order all the food and I will just show up and eat. Um, that sounds like a good deal to me. We're leaving in, I don't know, a bit under an hour. So I'm just here having my breakfast and I just like leaf through my crinkly sketchbook, um, which I gave some love yesterday night. Um, I did some funny faces there and some eyes that then kind of turned into weird snails. So that's, that's what's going on. What would you say it's like trying to leave on time with two kids? Uh, I don't know, the kids are fine, the wife can be a little <laughs> That's hilarious. You ready for the walk, sir? Putting your Mike Wazowski bag on. There he is. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Okay, we're coming up to our first geocache. It's just over to the left here. Yeah, let's go down this little path. There's got to be a little bit of vlogging because if you didn't vlog it, it didn't happen, you know?
not done justice on camera. <laughs> I look very Monday morning. Tea. Quick update. This weekend was good. It was good. Saturday, walk. I have mm, mild muscle ache, but I think I'm building up stamina. It's going well. Next month, me and Andrew were going for a big walk in Wales, probably like a very like hilly mountainous walk. It's gonna be, uh, challenging so that's what we're working uh, up to I mean we're really working up to Snowden but I don't know if that's gonna happen then yesterday uh, me and the kids spent most of the day tidying up the living room and cleaning yeah like on the one hand I want to say oh I'm grateful that my kids are old enough to like help tidy up and like it was kind of fun but at the same time 90% of the crap that we were tidying up was theirs so <laughs> you know life mum life and we played this new game, Pictomania, which is really cool. So today's Monday, I need to take them into school and then afterwards I need to kind of check the levels of work. <laughs> I need to check whether there's any day job stuff to do, um, whether it's urgent and then once that's out of the way, I need to check in with my art stuff and I think there needs to be some painting today because I need to start the week off right. Hello, Tick.
against a spray water bottle. Oh, my bra's in the background. Real life. <laughs> um, that was good. It is now quarter past one. I am starving. I need to go and eat something. But um, I just wanted to do a quick update. I've been thinking like I want to paint, but then I find it so difficult to actually go and paint and partly i think it's like internal obstacles and um um uh, i don't know fear probably um and partly it's like guilt it's probably persecution but it feels like guilt like it's so easy to just keep doing the things on my to-do list because they feel legit they feel like i gotta do them they're either paid or there's like a goal attached to it and so it's much easier to motivate myself and feel i don't know like almost like there's an external validation for doing it whereas art there's never an in, an external validation not an upfront external validation if you get what i'm saying and so it's hard it's hard to take the time for painting um even though painting is literally at the heart of everything I do like I wouldn't have a YouTube channel I wouldn't have a patreon I wouldn't be teaching if I didn't paint to start with so yeah um, it's like so it's so important this process and also like this process just having a go and painting my own stuff and also developing the stuff that I'm painting. Um, working in this really super landscape journal at the moment, it's like, it's so big, it doesn't even fit in the frame. <laughs> and it's weird, and it's like outside my comfort zone. Um, so although I'm happy with all of this work, uh, I think, you know, this weird little animal with balloons coming out of its back, yep totally weird and i love it um and then all these faces like i like what i'm doing here but the process is actually quite challenging because i am changing it up like if i was working in my junk journal if i was working in like an a5 journal doing the kind of the stuff that is like tried and tested um my own thing that I've developed, then it's easy. But here I am still obviously doing my own thing, but I am changing up the format. And that is actually quite difficult. And I think I need to, I need to remember that for myself because I often feel like, okay, I want to change things up. I want to keep challenging myself, but then I forget that challenging yourself is actually a challenge. As in that it can feel difficult and it can feel like, ugh, like outside your comfort zone. It doesn't feel comfortable. So, um, and then I get down on myself if I feel like things are a challenge. Um, so I just got to remember that when I do challenging things, it can feel challenging. <laughs> I hope you're getting something out of this. Like, I hope you relate. I hope you're not looking as tired as me. I'm not tired. I like I'm hardly ever tired actually. I just look tired. It's just oh, it's I don't know, a blessing of being in your late 30s and having two kids and two jobs and stuff. Okay. I'm going to go and make lunch because I am starving and um I will talk to you later probably.
this painting is done. Ah! Well, I mean, I need to sign it and I need to varnish it, but first it needs to dry. It's so challenging to paint this big, um, mentally obviously, but I was really talking about physically in this tiny space. I think this is too big for this space that I have. It's just hard. I want to do some more big paintings, but I think I might go about half the size, maybe. I need to order some canvas? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't... I don't know. I think I'm gonna try some paper, maybe. But yeah, I think I need to, like, not um, make things hard for myself by trying to paint too big for what my space will allow. Gotta be patient and wait until I have a dedicated art space again. I mean, not that this isn't a dedicated art space. I mean, it's not a dedicated art space. It's my bedroom. Anyway, I wanted to come back to this painting before finishing this vlog because this vlog obviously started with this painting and now it's ending with this painting, which I feel like I finally succeeded at like having something, having a thread. Well, it wasn't really a thread. It was more like, like a button here and a button at the end. <laughs> Um, in my vlog. So, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for still being here. Thanks for watching these and watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Oh, as a little aside, I am going to be filming a little Q&A video. I've been saving up some questions and if you've got any questions uh, for me about art, life, mental health, art process, self-development, anything that you want to know, please leave them in the comments uh, and I will incorporate them all into a nice, neat and tidy Q&A video, which I think will be fun. And yeah, I am going to close out this vlog now, which I said. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, check out my Patreon if you want more content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.